we need to create a uh, schematic symbol for this inductor. So to do that, we're going to click this button here. This is the schematic library editor. And I'm going to be a little bit lazy, or I guess I should say resourceful, and I'm actually going to use uh, an inductor that's already in one of KiCad's libraries. So to do that, I'm going to just go to device, which is where the part is saved. And I'm going to scroll down until I find inductor. And I'm just going to click this and click OK. And I'm actually going to, uh, well, first I'm going to edit the properties, which is this button right here. And uh, I want I want some specific information about this inductor because typically what KiCad does is they have general components, but sometimes it can be very convenient to already have all this information filled in for you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my description here and then um, I'm also going to put the universal parts list number which is 3.001 UPL 3.001 I'm going to almost copy this word for word I'm going to take these brackets out of there and these are the keywords, so these will be easier to find. We don't need things like commas in there. We need everything separated by a space. And then I'm going to type in a lowercase l and an uppercase l, so I can also just type in l, which is the symbol or the letter representing an inductor. So that's all we need for the properties. Now, um, so we also need to add the, uh, I guess you could call it the field properties or the extended properties here. So the first thing we need to do is find our footprint. And so I've already got the footprint created. And I know where I've saved it, which is my OCI footprints. And it's this 1210i for inductor. And double click that, and that's been assigned. And now I want my data sheet, which I already have found my data sheet. It's at this link. So I'm just going to copy link location from here. I'm going to control V to paste it. And I want some more information here. So this is actually going to be part number. I'm going to add another field and this is going to be the UPL number. So for my part number, I'm just going to copy this information here. Control C and I'm going to control V paste that and then I know what this is 3.001 so I'll just put this in and I click OK and now this is a little annoying all this information shows up on the symbol and this will show up on your schematic um, and I personally well think that's very cluttered so I'm going to hide most of this and I click show show, show, show. And if you want to see this information after you place it on your schematic, that's uh, totally possible. You can just uh, edit the properties of the individual component on your schematic and view them. I, I do, however, like to make these look pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position them like like so. So what you're seeing here is I'm scrolling over and pressing the M key and it's telling me that I have a few things that are stacked on top of each other so it's asking me what I really want here and what I really want is this link and I'm gonna move it up and I've got the part number to move and I it's still not quite perfect. These, this text is actually really big in my opinion so I'm actually gonna change it to uh, 0.75 so even if you do make it appear it's very small so it's not so cluttered so we're going to just do that for all the text here that's not visible so the, this gray stuff even though we see it now it will not be visible on on the schematic unless we tell it to be later and I can just move a little bit here 
And last, uh, we need to save this to a library. And I actually haven't created an inductor library yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save current component to a new library. And I'm just going to follow my name convention that I have right here, Oops, which is OCI underscore UPL score three underscore inductors. And now I can save that. And that, that's okay, it's just warning us of that. And that's all that we really need to do.